Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, a lot of you have been asking me questions related with string of pearls, like how to take care of string of pearls, what are the soil requirements, how is the watering done, what is the propagation method and how to multiply them fast. So I thought that I'll make a complete video on string of pearls. Now I had made a video that was a very short video, but in this video we'll be talking a little bit more in detail and depth about string of pearls. So the first and the most important thing is the pot. Now guys, initially I had used a concrete pot, which was not a very good idea. A concrete pot is an earthen material. It tends to absorb a lot of moisture and string of pearls prefer for very slight moisture in their soil again not soggy wet soil but very slight moisture in their soil and apart from that you need to get a container that is much shallow i would say you can opt for a container that is around two to three inches in depth that would work out really well because we need to understand string of pearls do not have really huge roots that tend to run too deep they usually lay either in the mid or in the upper mid level of the soil so if you go for a shallow container it's going to be much better like over here as you can see i had used this kind of a container now guys another important thing whenever you are making a drain hole in a plastic container always ensure that you make the drain hole from inside out and not from outside in the reason behind as you can see over here the particles that tend to break when you make a drain hole they should always be facing outside the pot because if they are inside the pot then when you tend to put a rock or stone on that it will block the drain hole and this will prevent the water from flowing out of the plastic pot so very important always try to make the drain hole from inside out so now talking about the light requirement so one mistake i had already done is used a concrete pot now the second mistake what i did is i put my string of pearls out in direct morning sunlight now it was only one hour of morning direct sunlight now this is because i referred to google and probably the person who was suggesting this information had a very different environment and climate so probably even the morning direct sunlight that was from 8 a.m to 9 a.m was also very strong for them so i thought that is not working out and immediately my string of pearls started to shrink and deflate and i was in complete mess because google was my only option left to understand the care requirements for string of pearls but again that was not working out so the only option was left is to experiment with them and what i did is because morning direct sunlight was not working out i immediately put them out in indirect bright light so i very carefully put them in indirect bright light as you can see i put the shrinked deflated string of pearls in this pot and after a month i was quite surprised to see the new growth the new pearls were inflated they were plump they looked very healthy and green and i knew that in my environment definitely the direct sunlight is not working out now guys i'm not saying that direct sunlight is bad for string of pearls it depends upon your environment and your climate because the person who was growing this from where i referred this information that person was growing a string of pearls very healthy in morning direct sunlight but probably it was not working out for my climate so if you are having issues with your string of pearls they are getting shrinked they are getting deflated like this then probably you can try indirect bright light so as they say that when everything goes well there has to be some issue that has to start all my string of pearls were doing excellent under these erica palm trees and unfortunately there was some construction work going on the plank that you see over here was smashed onto my string of pearls and i lost all of my string of pearls there were hardly two or three stems left and that's what i recovered and i'll show you on the later part of the video how i again started my collection with those few stems so guys now talking about the soil requirement the soil remains the same what we use for our other succulents and that is loose porous and well draining now when i say well draining that means that your pot should have a drain hole when you're planting your string of pearls now guys the reason behind taking a shallow pot is because this pot size is around two to three inches in depth and we all need to understand that whenever the soil tends to dry it is the first two inches of soil that tends to dry much faster and that one inch of soil is what is going to keep the string of pearls slightly moist so whenever you see that your soil is dry you can go ahead and water 
Now, when you see your top layer of soil is dry, it indicates because this pot is only two to three inches in depth. So the moment you see that the upper layer of soil is dry, you can go ahead and water. Now, that is the reason why I choose a shallow pot for string of pearls. And as I said this earlier as well, string of pearls, they do not run their roots too deep in the soil. So this kind of pot tends to work out really well for them. So now that we're talking about watering, let's even talk about dehydration and how to revive a dehydrated string of pearls. Now guys, obviously this was not dehydrated by me. I did not underwater. I never take a chance to underwater my string of pearls because it can be quite risky. Now this is a perfect example of transit dehydration. So basically this succulent was already dehydrated in the transit box. So the moment when I opened it, this is how the succulent looked like. So all we have to do is just put it in the soil again guys i'm not doing any kind of water therapy remember as i said i'm not a big fan of water therapy but if you want to try it out it's up to you but i usually do not prefer doing any kind of water therapy for especially succulents that have come in recently in transit so all i did is i just went ahead and put it in dry soil i waited for at least two days so that the succulent can get adjusted to the new soil i knew that this is going to take a pretty pretty long time because it's dehydrated secondly it's come in transit so it's going to take a really long time so let me quickly show you how it looks after a while now guys this entire process of video has taken a really long time so this is not something that happened overnight or in couple of weeks the entire video took around seven to eight months for me to shoot most of these clips were archived and kept so the whole intention to mention about this that it took around seven to eight months because a lot of people might have a misconception that these things happen really quick because in this video it tends to look like it immediately started to revive but no guys it has taken a lot of time so all you need to do is have patience especially when you're dealing with succulents like this which are completely dehydrated or when you're dealing with leaf propagations or cuttings it takes a lot of time so do not have a misconception conception that these things will happen overnight or will happen quickly you need to have a lot of patience and these things take their own time to recover and to show new signs of growth so now when you tend to see that your soil is dry you can go ahead and do watering now watering you can either do bottom watering or you can do top watering now i prefer to do top watering because over here we do not need to be much worried because a uh, string of pearls are not in the form of rosette so even if the water tends to fall on the leaves they tend to dry out much faster and any which ways do we do not place them in direct sunlight so it's not much of an issue the water does not stay in between the leaves because there is a lot of gaps now there is another reason if you notice i do not keep my string of pearls you know uh, curled up inside the pot i let them flow out of the pot that is one of the reason because if they are all crumpled in the pot and when you water them then there is a chance that the water might stay on the leaves but over here as you can see i always tend to leave my uh, string of pearls outside the pot so that they do not uh, come in contact with water or moisture constantly because if they are going to be wet for a long time then those pearls can get rotted so again, the same thing implies when you do a watering after a really long time, don't miss the pearls. You need to do a complete watering, which means you're going to water until the water passes through the drain hole. So these were the variegated string of pearls that were completely dehydrated in transit. And now after seven to eight months, you can see the difference. So now let's talk about propagation and how to multiply string of pearls. Now it's extremely easy to multiply string of pearls. You can either go for stem cuttings or you can go for individual pearls like this. But I would always advise to go with a stem cutting because that's much easier compared to the individual pearls because individual pearls are going to take a very long time so the best is the stem cutting but i'll show you how to do the single pearl as well now usually what happens is that you might end up or find broken uh, string of pearls or the single pearls in your transit box so the most important thing is you need to locate where the stem is now this is where you will find the small tiny stem of the individual pearl all you have to do is just make a small incision in the soil and just fix the stem into the soil it's that simple all you have to do is just put it into the soil now guys as i said it is a single pearl it will take a really long time so i will show you the so i'll show you the before and after as well but over here when i'm putting these individual uh, pearls into the soil this was way back this was around seven to eight months back so i'll show you the comparison of how it looked earlier and how it looks today 
So all the four individual pearls have been put in the soil. Again, the same drill remains. We are not going to water it the same day. We will wait for at least four or five days. The reason is because all of these guys are well hydrated. So we do not need to be worried about dehydration. Apart from that, there is a small pup. I think it is a Graptovaria. I'm not quite sure which was the propagation that was added, but that one has also grown in this spot. And you can see all of those... Uh, individual pearls that we had put in the soil have been successful they have multiplied you can see these were those uh, large pearls uh, four large pearls that were present but now you can see that there has been a good amount of growth even the uh, pup which i was not sure whether it was a graptovaria or graptopetalum that one has also grown in size so this entire process took a really long time so as I said, it takes a really long time. You need to have a lot of patience, but at the end of the day, it is very rewarding. You can see the weight was worth. You can see how healthy the succulent looks. So that was about individual pearl propagation. Let's talk about the easier propagation. Now over here, all you need to do is just take a stem cutting. Ensure you take a longer stem because that will uh, fix into the soil much easily. As you can see over here, I've taken a really long stem and all I need to do is just poke it into the soil. That's it. It's that simple to do a stem propagation. And this is much faster compared to the individual pearl propagation. So again, same thing, do not water the same day. Uh, we do not need to callus this stem because the stem is really very thin. It will uh, callus on its own, but ensure that the soil is dry. Uh, do not water the same day and you're good to go. And in a couple of... Uh, days or probably week depending upon your environment uh, the new stem will start to root so guys as you all, all know that i tend to recycle a lot of stuff so these are food containers that i receive when i order food online so i tend to collect these containers and they come in handy now a lot of you guys will not like this containers it's absolutely fine a lot of people have a very different taste when it comes to you know keeping your succulents in pots so what you can do is you can use such containers but you can use this as a inner container so if you want to hide the plastic container all you have to do is just put it in another container or in another pot that you have that is more stylish so in this way what's going to happen is it is going to hide the plastic container and you have your regular pot or the regular um, designer pot that you have now right now this pot is uh, slightly smaller but usually if you have a bigger pot the entire plastic pot will get covered and it won't even be visible so whenever you want to water it you can just take out the pot water it and then put it back into the pot so talking about dormancy and non-dormancy string of pearls belong to the family of Senecio. yes the same Senecio blue chalk sticks that we spoke about earlier so they tend to go dormant during the summer period and their active growing period is during the winters now guys talking about the pest they are usually not attacked by mealybugs but in case if they are attacked by mealybugs then you can go for any organic solution that you have been doing all this while so guys i hope that this video on string of pearls was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating